Welcome to today's Q&A. The question is, when did you become interested in climbing, hiking, etc.? And what do you want to do next that you have not yet done musically, athletically, or personally? So I'm gonna jump first to the part of the question that asked about what I would like to do next musically. And I actually have a list of three things that I really would like to do and hope that I can get done in the next, say, five years. The first one is to create an entire one hour program of flute music that is choreographed that I would play and dance slash move to while I perform. So, so far I've created choreographed performances out of three pieces, including Catherine Hoover's Winter Spirits, Alois Eidich's Sounding Landscapes, and Maggie Payne's Reflections. Those pieces total about 15 minutes in time. So the goal would be to create another 45 minutes worth of music that is choreographed for solo flute. And what goes into that is first of all, finding a piece, or in this case, most likely I'll be commissioning music that lends itself to choreography and is manageable in terms of movement and memory. So for this aspect of the project, my hope is to commission about 30 minutes of music for flute and electronics that I would then choreograph either for solo flutist or flutist and dancers or potentially for multiple flutists. The second thing on my really want to do to-do list is to create a performance piece that actually encompasses all aspects of art forms. So that would be to first of all create a poem and then create a piece of music and then create a painting that goes along with the piece of music and then create a video of the painting and the painting process and even add digital effects to the video that actually corresponds with the music and to choreograph the piece and perform it in its entirety so flutist choreography a screen with the video on top maybe the painting off in a corner where the audience can then come and look at it later. And then the poetry embedded in the performance, most likely spoken through the flute while I'm playing and also coming in through a sound system electroacoustically. So the second thing is actually kind of a short thing, but I really hope to be able to accomplish this because it's something that I've been wanting to do for like 20 years. And that is I would like to record a CD of just slow movements, okay? my favorite slow movements and break all the rules. So for example, maybe I would only play the first movement of the Enesco Cantabile Epresso or the aria from Tak Takashvili's Sonata or one of the slow movements from the Franck Sonata or the slow movement from the Reinecke Sonata or the slow movement from the Prokofiev Sonata or the slow movement from the E. Bear Concerto. How about Dohnani's aria? Meditation from Thais. The slow movement from Gobert's Sonata in A. The first movement from Tafanel's Allegro at Scherzando. The first movement from Fourier's Fantasy. Are you with me? Do you hear me? Are you saying yes? Okay, so I really wanna break all the rules and make that CD of just slow movements. And finally on my list of things to do musically that I'm really looking forward to doing is I have more plans for more books. The next book I'm going to publish is going to be about training strategies, goal setting, strategies for success, time management, energy management, cycling your biological rhythms to your projects and activities, career tips, how to optimally organize practice, and music memory strategies. Okay, then the next part of the question is what do I hope to do athletically personally? So I do have a list going here as well. So one of my bucket list items, and it's actually already set in place and organized for this coming September 2020, is to do a rim to rim run of the Grand Canyon. So that's not kind of like around the rim, but actually starting on the north rim of the Grand Canyon, running down to the bottom, and that's a 5,000 plus foot drop, and then running through and up through to the south side of the canyon. And I'm planning on doing that with my daughter, Ileana. The other thing that I'm newly passionate about and excited to be continuing is rescue training. So this month I took a three day course in whitewater rescue training. I'm in the middle of working towards being call out certified for a search and rescue team. So I'm involved in training that involves uh, learning how to use a compass, orienteering, 
working with dogs and canine units, learning how to operate radios, and basically um, be available to be on a search and rescue team. And now to the first part of the question, when did I become interested in hiking and climbing and outdoor activities? I've always loved being outside. Um, I did have opportunities when I was younger to go to camp and experience uh, camp events like equestrianism, archery, um, swimming, and lakes. For the most part, for most of my years, my main outdoor activity would be to go for runs. But since moving to West Virginia, where I've been completely surrounded by all of these opportunities and have made so many friends in the outdoor community who are involved in rock climbing, whitewater paddling, cycling, mountain biking, I have in the last nine years since moving to West Virginia had the opportunity to get to know some of these sports and luckily have had friends experienced in these sports who've introduced me to them and mentored me as I have tried to learn them. And finally, um, in the last three years, I've become an empty nester. My kids have grown up and flown from the nest. Um, so I've had a little more time to sort of invest my attention and energy into exploring these activities more. And the cool thing is that both of my kids are actually really interested in them as well. So we're sort of learning some of these sports at the same time. So thanks for the question. I really enjoyed answering it.